Welcome to the J.R. Hendrick Texan and Gentlemen, a podcast that deals with the early life of J.R. Hendrick. This episode has his father on the Andrew House Show, May 21st, 1996. Americans across the, the conversationists in this pretty plain. This is the Andrew House Show, second hour. Had a special guest, the uh, administrator for the Entrepreneurial Affairs Agency, James Ryan Hendricks. Jim, how are you? I am anyways better than I deserve. Jim, I understand that uh, your your bill, the uh, face-to-face initiatives, that there is some kind of bottleneck going on in, in, in the House. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say the House, although... Uh, it is, it is a distinct possibility. I, I, I flew to Raleigh last, last Thursday, and a lot of people are very disappointed at how things are going. They think there's better processes in the Senate, but in the House, uh, what can I say? It's bottled up in community. I think it has a lot to do with that libertarian congressman from Virginia, uh, Bill Hume. You think it's because he has an issue with faith-based initiatives? There's no doubt. Of course, I think he knows. Uh, he takes my support for Reverend Isaiah Friedman as personal. Let him go ahead and think it's personal. I support somebody that is going to stand on principle, regardless. Bill Humans will sit there, will sit there, and present every piece of paperwork and every piece of evidence to blockade a committee into saying what he wants to say. Now, uh, I'm going to be having a written press release on on Thursday through the help of my press attache, John Sestina. But I think that the House could stand a chance to pass it if we can get someone to pass in some discipline with the committee. Do you think uh, Senator Cordell Willard has anything to do with it? No, no. The senator is having some problems on the home front in Louisiana last time I checked. Uh, don't know exactly what's going on. His press office says that it's, it's a, a deep problem of a personal nature. And whatever it is, um, my hope is he'll come back to D.C. humble and willing to work on the bipartisan nature and not just the way Bill Clinton wants. Some might want him out of the way. Well, now, Andrew, I never said that. I would never say that. Your campaigns, you're getting a lot of popularity because of say what it is. What I see from the Clinton administration is nothing but a pattern of trouble. And I worry about that when it comes to my kids and, and uh, my family. You know, I think we should have hope for a brighter generation. But the fact of the matter is, there's too much issue going on. 
there's too much issue going on. Uh, the fact of the matter is, uh, Bill Clinton will sit there and lie and say that he's bipartisan. Uh, Bill Hume, I, I can't tell what kind of libertarian he is. But I don't think he's a libertarian he runs for, you know, like uh, responsible statesmanship. I've seen his campaign deals. But his personal life is far from having anything to do with, with responsible. In fact, I have to say it, it's irresponsible. I mean, uh, all kind of deviants that run in his home. Not to mention... Uh, some kind of issue with gangs. That's as far as far as I'm willing, I'm willing to go. Of course, Jim. Well, that should be all for now. Um, we'll be back with your phone calls. This is the Andrew House Show. Hope that you're willing to listen to the J.R. Hendrick Texan Gentlemen. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of the adventure. This is the James Hendrick Empowerment Network. Until next time, get ready for the rest of the story. It gets more interesting from here.